What's up traders, Marco here from Elementary FX. Today is the 22nd of May and this is a new weekly preview for the upcoming week. Okay. I want to start and say that we will have lots of opportunities this week. So uh, be prepared. We are going actually to have some really nice patterns. Uh, most of them elite waves so um, with some preparation and discipline we can actually get some profit all right so let's get started with euro usd all right so uh euro usd we are actually at a breaking point all right because uh lately price is really rallying up and I don't want to say that it created a wedge because it's still going right here all right so um, I just want to wait some more all right if um, price price would actually um, go a bit higher and break it or starts dropping down but anyway uh, we should be at our fifth touch right now of this uh, ending diagonal of value wave all right and I do expect a price to actually drop maybe consolidate some here creating a flag and then drop again all right we will trade when this flag happens all right when the drop is already going we will wait some for some retrades and then we will trade it to the short okay so um the in this week uh with the group i actually posted this all right my um abc correction pattern was ending right here okay um, price went a bit further probably respecting the channel and we might see some drop from here if, if it really does then we might get our correction okay we might get our correction that actually uh, verifies our pattern all right until that for now until that moment well uh, we can only wait to see if price respects the pattern and nothing else okay so I do expect a bearish movement uh, maybe breaking the flag creating a consolidation and we trade it again okay Notice that we are on the last wave here, all right, probably. Um, it can even create a new five wave here, okay, and then break down. Also notice that fifth wave around here can even break above some something of the channel. So it is really better to wait and see how it goes but anyway if not today not tomorrow uh, later in the week we will see a drop all right and we will trade for short okay so um next pair next pair is pound dollar what i want to say about pound dollar is that we have a channel with five waves now it it currently completed the fourth one all right so as you can see we have a really nice rally with a retrace here creating our first point this high is our second then price created a flat correction creating our ABC correction with our third point and our fourth is right here now I do really expect um, 
something that validates this, all right? Because I really don't think this point is the fifth one. May it may be a truncated one, but I really don't know yet. So I really do want to see some validation of this, even though I wait for five waves at least, or an ABC correction in the last, in the last point. All right. So probably, probably, I, I want to see something like that. Okay. And then later spike higher and break this flag and go higher. Um, how, how is this going to happen? How this five wave is going to happen? We still don't know it. We have to wait. I would say that if you would like to actually play aggressive, you could just um, trade here, all right? With a really tight stop loss, something above here for for a down, for a downwards movement. And so I really don't know where it is gonna end, but I would say take profit, save profit would be nice. It really is a risky trade, okay? If you would like to play it anyway, just wait a, a consolidation, like a little flag and then play it short, okay? Um, market just opened like one hour ago and created this gap, all right? So probably and I'm not saying probably it is already doing uh, market is gonna close this gap okay it is really really a tiny gap so it has a lot of probabilities that it is gonna be closed and then market will get back to his um, natural behavior all right but for now, uh, pound dollar is um, maybe today is gonna be a short if, and I say if price will not break this higher. Okay, if price is gonna is not going to break this trend line, I would play short when I see some consolidation. All right. And probably in maybe two weeks or yeah maybe two weeks or something more we will see uh, an upwards movement after the fifth touch or maybe price will change the pattern we still don't know for now we want to see if price will go lower okay next pair is USD Swiss franc okay so USD Swiss franc is almost the same of pound dollar well not almost the same but it's really close to it so basically we have our impulse impulse here uh, retrace creating an A point um, which is an, another impulse this is a retrace creating a B we have a flat correction and this is our C, okay? Now we see price really drop down a lot and the next target we have is this really nice trend line. Now, that trend line um, links together these two points, all right? Which was a previous pattern all right so i'm really looking to price to go to the level i really think it is going really straight to that point all right and if price actually will actually manage to break lower this little consolidation i would play short until this point 61 pips if price breaks this short all right breaks this flag kind of like whatever this thing all right 
and nothing else when price will reach this point we will see how it will react and we will think about it later all right for now it is a short it could even just go straight down now i really don't wanna say that it is going down on uh, with the same length of this thing all right i really don't want to say that oops but if it does it is gonna go below here okay which is how much is that 32 yeah around 30 point below so it will be um maybe 90 90 90 pips trade okay so if it breaks lower than than the flag i will go for short okay that's everything for today i will update you when things will move a little later in the days of the week and that's it guys thanks for joining me uh, with this video and listening to me see ya to the next trades to the next videos bye bye